Yo, what is up everybody? And today I want to talk about something that everybody probably has experienced at some point. Uh, it's late as hell. I got to be up at like six o'clock. Just finished doing a bunch of chores around the house, meal prepping, cleaning, folding clothes, all kind of stuff, man. So, but I still felt like it was important for me to make this video. What I want to talk about is is the gym can be pretty intimidating if you're just starting out, man. Um, I remember when I was just starting out, when I would go to the gym, you go in there, bro, and you just see, you see a try hard. I'm going to just put it like that. You you see sweats, man. If any of y'all play video games, if you play League of Legends, if you play Apex, if you play Call of Duty, you know what a sweat is. They translate. And through all different aspects of life, man, they translate. It's not just a sweat in one genre. You got sweats in, in different genres, man. You go to the gym, you gonna see sweats. I ain't talking about, you know, putting in work, going hard. I'm talking about the people that that's all they do is go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like, and by no means, by no means is that a bad thing to just like live for the gym. But as a human being, I'm going to be real. And, and it's our problem to deal with. It's not their problem. That's, you know, they doing what they're supposed to. But it, you get self-conscious sometimes when you're in the gym. And you you in there, you might be trying your hardest, man. You might be giving it your best. And you look over to your right and you see Chad over here. And this nigga benching two, 250, repping it, 10 reps. And you're like, what the fuck am I doing in here? This, this, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like. It, sometimes it makes you not want to go to the gym. I'm going to put it like that, especially if you're just starting out, especially if you're a person who's like, you know, morbidly obese and you realize finally in your life, like, hey, I need to change something. And you're trying to do the right thing. You know, you're trying to do the right thing. And you go in there and you see Chad and you see Tyrone and Tyrone over here doing weighted pull ups. And he got, you know, two forty five pound weights around his waist and he's uh, you got it, bro. I'll come to the gym next week, bro. I, I'm all right. I'm good. All jokes aside, man, like it it can be intimidating if you're just starting out. And even if you've taken like a long break, I know there's been times where I stopped working out for like a week or two, uh, whether I'm on vacation or you know, work related stuff or I'm just burned out or something, uh, which usually I'm never really burned out on the gym, but uh, for whatever reason. If there's a prolonged period of time where you're away from the gym and you get back in there, it, it can be discouraging a little bit. And I want to say, like, like I said in not my previous video, but the one before, everybody has their own their own path. Um, so don't get discouraged, man. Try your hardest not to compare yourself to people. Try your hardest not to look at them and basically be filled with insecurities once you see that. Shoot, that goes for women too, man. If you go in there and you see Becky in here, she doing squats and that ass is is is, is sitting real nice and, and plumped up. Don't don't be discouraged. You go get that shelf booty one day. Just keep on doing them little hip thrusts y'all be doing in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't mind. I <laughs> sometimes when you go in the gym, you might get discouraged by by people that are in there. I'm gonna just keep it a buck with you. Some of them people in there ain't even natural. You know what I mean? So you shouldn't even let it bother you that much. Just go in there, get you a good playlist on your phone, some good noise canceling headphones to where you can just be completely in your own zone and um, try your hardest to just lock in, man. Try your hardest to go in there, press play on your phone. There's a lot of people that like I was watching, what's his name? David Goggins. And, and he advises against like music in the, in the gym to each their own, you know? But, bro, if my headphones is dead, I can't work out. I'm just going to be real with you. I'm, I'm one of those. If I ain't got no music, I think I ain't got no power. I, I, I'm weak as shit in there. Becky going to be lifting more than me if I ain't got no music going. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like SpongeBob when this nigga was lifting the, uh, the marshmallows. I need my playlist. I need my music. But when you go in there... Just try your best to lock in, man. Don't don't be paying attention to what everybody else is doing. Just take it a day at a time. Honestly, that's all you can really do. Just take it a day at a time. 
you're going to face them sweats no matter what level you get to. Um, I've been working out for three years, man. And I've seen a ton of progress from when I started all the way up until this point. And I still go in there and I see people that are just years and years ahead of me, man. Years ahead of me. And there's nothing wrong with that. They just been on it longer than me. And sometimes, too, you can't really judge a book by its cover. Uh, you've heard like sleeper builds before. Sometimes people people will look at you and think that you're fairly weak because you're smaller than them. And you might be able to outlift them. So it, it really just is really just a matter of, of just getting in your own zone and focusing on what you need to focus on, man. Don't go in there comparing yourself to people. I can't really stress that enough. Getting into the gym is probably like one of the best things you can do for your life. Like I told y'all before, man, I, I'm I'm finally seeing the benefits of it. I'm 28 and I never really took the gym stuff serious until, you know, three years ago. And in three years, which is really not that long, if you think about it, man, in the grand scheme of things, we're we're expected to live about what 70 to 80 years on average as a human in the United, in the United States. And three years of that is, is nothing. If you dedicate, let's just say you dedicate five years to working out, you know, and, and make it a, a consistent habit. You're going to, you're going to see the benefits, dude. You're going to see the benefits. So yeah, man, don't be intimidated. Get you a solid playlist, go in there and just grind, bro. Just grind. Just lock in. Don't be worried about other people. Um, I, I see a lot of people in there too that they're only in there to like make friends and be social. Don't be one of those people, man. Don't 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 do that. <laughs> you don't want to be one of them, man. Go in there to get business taken care of. Get in there. I know people they be saying that they have to work out for like an hour and a half. What the fuck are you doing, bro? You wasting time. You, th there's no reason for you to be in the gym for an hour and a half. No reason at all. It's like, th the way I see it, it's like going out to dinner. Except I ain't got to wait on the waiter. I'm I'm getting the food myself. I'm in here eating myself. You know what I'm saying? I go in there. I put my order in. I chow down. I pay the bill. I'm gone. 45 minutes or less. I, I don't need to be in there an hour, 30 minutes. Two hours. No, bro. What, what, what are you doing? This ain't no restaurant where you need reservations. You go in and you get the work done. But yeah, man. Uh, once again, I hope y'all rocking with this new content. Uh, I, I feel motivated again, man. I'm not going to lie to you. This this change in, in content has really... It's made me happy, to just you know put it simply. It's made me happy. I'm actually excited about YouTube again. I was telling my little brother that... I'm a little discouraged every now and then when I get on YouTube and I check the views and it's not like I would want it to be, but at the end of the day, the content is what I want it to be. So it really isn't even that big of a deal. All I wanted to say this video is try your hardest not to be intimidated by the gym. Once you get in there and once you get your rhythm, there's really nothing to be intimidated about, man. It's just taking care of business at the end of the day is what it is. You need to take care of business. Just like when you go to work, you know it's something that you have to do. Nobody wants to go to work. Nobody wants to, to um, you know, sit there and listen to a, a boss nag them. No one wants to sit there and listen to a coworker complain about their wife or husband or whatever the fuck. But we understand we have to in order to get our paycheck. You gotta, you gotta do certain things you don't want to. Just like the gym. You're going to be uncomfortable sometimes when you see people that are further than you. You're going to be uh, a little nervous sometimes when it's like, a, I guess, a new workout routine that you're trying, a new gym location you're going to. But at the end of the day, it's taking care of business, man. It's all for the better. So, yeah, man, with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I catch y'all in the next one. Peace.